So let's see, it looks like the front is rendering. It's just that it's not it's not cleared properly or something. So adding one actor to the foreground, one twelve to the background, one to the foreground. That doesn't seem right. There's there's plenty of stuff in the foreground. And we can even see we can even see in our final stuff that our this is our background material this is our foreground so our foreground is looking like it's set up properly of course we just uh, grabbed the wrong number in there that's why so we're not positioning maybe these things properly. Scene quad. Current position is position render planes. Should be setting setting this thing properly. Just maybe it's adding itself to draw itself. So maybe we need to explicitly tag these things as not drawable. Let me do that. the first time we run this like we got the front and the back so obviously the front is the front's in the wrong spot why would that be I mean the the background scene capture position is is wrong Position render planes, scene quads, current position is get actor transform. Let's see why it, why it's not getting positioned, or if it is. Or perhaps it is here. This return is probably not getting... 
not doing what it should. So we're probably just not positioning it because the camera is exactly where it's supposed to be. That would make sense to me. So like, well why isn't this code running? Probably because it's not running. Huh? Because supposedly we're setting this this render plane to the right location here. Let's see, this plane is scene capture test material. No matter what I do to move this thing, it looks like it's not doing anything. And if we... What is this? Like, what, what the hell is going on here? This, this makes no damn sense. Like, this object is behind the camera. there are things like why would moving do something here like, it makes no sense to me that moving would fix our camera does it have something to do with any of these things It's in the right spot. Like we're actually putting it in the right goddamn spot and it's it's drawing wrong. What the hell would that that be? Why would it draw wrong? Well, we can try just like not moving it. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll at least have it so it doesn't move in front of our camera. That doesn't make any damn sense to me. Like, why would this thing fix itself? We're moving it to the exact same frickin' position. That is absolutely insane. Like, I just removed all of this crap. Like, boom. All the scene capture stuff's gone, and our camera is fucking black. Unless we move.
Like, what? What in the fuck? So it's literally that our main camera is not rendered? How, how is this even possible? Like, we added these scene capture components in here, and then all of a sudden... All of a sudden they're not rendering? Makes no sense for the main camera to stop working, even when we remove the the use of the render targets. Like it's just absolutely like what? Why is it only drawing the back? And if we remove the back, then it's not drawing anything. Well, there is a post-process volume. Maybe that's screwing everything up. We don't want that post-process volume in there. No, nope, that's not doing anything either. What the fuck? So we set up our camera, the window is blah, window is the window is nothing. 
And then the next pass is inside of begin play. The window actually exists. So we have this direction, the magnitude, the wanted position is 0, negative 288. That's not correct. Okay, so the reason nothing's drawing is because our camera position is set wrong. Yeah, our wanted position should not be this. Our wanted position, like we're supposed to call set wanted position on on this thing. Everything is difficult. Even the simple things. Still all sorts of screwed up. Like what the what the hell is going on here? Like our camera actor. What is this camera actor?
It's set to zero zero zero. What? Why is this camera actor getting created? Like, or there's a camera actor that is being created for no reason. And it looks like the viewport is getting used by that camera actor. Or. Yeah, we'll just remove that. Like, what is. Did I accidentally take out some code here that shouldn't shouldn't have been taken out? Maybe we need to set ourselves as the as the view target after we do all this other crap. Because this should be setting our view target. Ortho near clip plane is 5,000. So we are at. We're at negative. Negative 4,500, but our. Our near clip plane was set improperly to start with. Is that what's going on here? Because when we hit play. We look at our standard player camera the near clip plane is set wrong it's set too close okay so it's our near clip plane that's screwed up and our near clip plane is set to current position X So really what I should be doing is like if the magnitude is greater than this certain thing then I should be uh, setting all these translations and setting this transform and all this stuff so if magnitude is greater than that then go ahead and set all the things otherwise
current position equals new position, and our near clip and far clip should be set to current position X and current position Y. So that's why moving was, was fixing it, is what it looks like, because we aren't resetting our near and far clips for our camera. So we fixed one we fixed one bug by basically like setting our update camera position inside of our begin play to fix our, our two render targets. And in doing so we exposed a bug on the main camera. So there we go. That's looking much better. And we've got our guy moving around. Let's take a look. We're going to throw a few other things in here. I'm going to try putting some some of these bushes here. I'm going to try throwing them in the background kind of behind these things. Kind of like this. And then we're also going to try seeing what they look like if we do a little bit more. Kind of like Uh, they look they look pretty crappy in the background, don't they? <laughs> All right. Well, there is at least that then. They lo it looks like a straight line of bushes, which is exactly what the hell it is. Okay, so background bushes don't really look good. It's going at him. Yeah, I was just messing around with the. Uh, camera stuff. And I just threw some bushes in front and that's kind of what they look like is like so. Man, I got rid of a bunch of these, didn't I? I did not mean to do that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like what we can do with foreground objects there. <laughs> yeah, the cone, the cone is... The cone is just there to show that we can have a 3D object. But yeah, we can, we can do foreground stuff and all that now, so... That's good. And yeah, the background bushes do not look super great. Let me see if I can throw something in the air. If there's like a, a big tree or something. Is there any tree that actually looks like you know, a branch or something else that's coming off coming on screen for mom? And I could throw like a this guy in here. I 
and rotate it 90 degrees and make it like super big or something. <laughs> it just looks like shit. So if we had like some big foreground object, you know, kind of like that, moving past, imagine it, you know, isn't just awful, awful trash tier quality, but I think that kind of is what you're looking for, right? Where you could kind of run behind something and, you know, kind of climb up through the, if you're climbing up through the canopy or something, you could have a, a pretty sweet looking thing happen there where you jump out above the of the trees. Oh, does that make sense? All right, all right. This is how you do game development. You just stick trees at odd fucking angles. But I think that works. Like, if that was a um, high enough quality sprite, it would definitely look look pretty baller right there. It's like a shitty blur. I think we can do better than a shitty blur. Hopefully. So I want to see what happens if we throw any sort of water in the foreground here. Well, if we obscured it, <laughs> if we obscured the water, right, like, that doesn't look absolutely awful. Um, just the, uh, you know, sands the shitty cut right here with, like, the grass, right? Like, maybe I should make a little a thing over here where I try to transition between water and not water. Kind of, like, over here. We'll just... Put a bunch of fucking trees in the way. <laughs> Looks so bad. <laughs> Build the shoreline into a three D plane? What do you mean? What do you mean? You're talking madness.
Yeah, the problem is these trees are in perspective, so you can't do a whole hell of a lot of them. So this is how we make things work. We just throw fucking giant bushes and shit in the <laughs> you see how far you'd have to go to if you wanted to obscure that entire thing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's actually not as bad as I would have thought it would look, <laughs> to be honest. Is there any way to deform these frickin' planes and just, like, boom around and shit? It's a waterfall now. Yeah, there's some Z fighting there with the bushes and all that stuff, but if, yeah, it looks like basically if there was 2D water here, like the 2D stuff in the foreground looks fine. The 3D stuff in the foreground really doesn't look that great, so it's kind of looking like, you know, like, we would need to have that kind of forced perspective on the water where these two corners would be, would be different. I don't know if I can make like a a new piece of geometry. Let's see if I can do that, if I can kind of make a, uh, a new plane here. That... If we deform this thing. How do we change the verts? Gotta actually do it. Because it's a static mesh or whatever. Yeah, it looks like you might not be able to. Well, find them.
that looks pretty much nothing like what we've got with our with our actual other water. Is that what is that? Like that's what it should look like with a lake, right? But Yeah, well, I'm not rendering the terrain in the foreground. So, I mean, I can go ahead and try rendering that in the foreground. It's just kind of a big piece of geometry. So I've got to, like, draw background only. So I can do, like... What are my tags? Draw background, draw foreground. Yeah, we're going to want to draw a background in there. This is what the terrain on there. So we could have maybe some some basic stuff there, but I think we're going to need like foreground terrain and background terrain. You can see if I jump here, the terrain comes up and just totally screws up the the drawing. And that's that's what I'm talking about with things move wrong with that camera. So. So I need to make two different terrains pretty much if we're going to do some of this. So let's see. We'll move the, the background terrain way the hell over there. And this is going to be draw background only. And then can we create, is it manage? And then we can like, 
or paint or how did we actually make our freaking terrain geometry? Or we can, I guess we have height maps, right? Can we not have multiple multiple height maps for terrain? We'll see if we can copy this terrain. And I have frozen just about everything on my computer. Let's see. Unreal is currently taking that much memory <laughs> yeah it's got 12 gigabytes of memory allocated at the moment to try to copy this crap <laughs> so yeah I don't I don't know if um ah it copied it did it, yeah, it did it. All right, later, Adam. Alright, so supposedly we can create we can create more more height maps inside of this. Let's see, where is it? Manage, add components to the landscape, move landscape to a landscape proxy. Let's add. Oh, this is cool. So we can just like add is this adding on to the current mesh? Yeah, it looks like it adds onto the current mesh. So you want to undo all that. So how do we add another freaking height map? Why can't I just? Why can't I just add another one? What the fuck? All right. How to add landscape on Real Four? Come on. Click manage. Click 
landscape editor. New landscape. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's see, we want selection size 7x7. Seven seven. Yeah, we want some small landscape here. And I guess we'll just call create. Okay, so we have landscape one and landscape two. So let's see, this is landscape two. So we should probably just name this something like foreground landscape. We'll call this one background landscape. Let's do our flatten tool, maximum size. Let's just flatten the whole damn thing. Narrow. And that's how we can just switch between them. All right, that's pretty cool. So if we go to manage and we go to delete, what does it let us delete? Well, we want to go to background landscape. We want to go to delete on background landscape and we can just okay so brush size 50 yeah so we can just chunk off like all of this I think it's working on it looks like it is I think we're just suffering horrible RAM problems at the moment because of copy-paste I did earlier. And Real Engine's taking 12, 12 G's. Because I think it's it's doing like um, the landscape stuff especially is very memory intensive. I guess that's something to think about. Alright. I'm gonna save this map and then close and then I'm gonna start messing with this a little bit. Let's see how long we've been on online here. Nearly two hours. All right, yeah, I was starting to feel like it was getting up there. So what we're gonna do is, so what's on our list? Now we need to check if an empty array renders the entire certain scene and if we can add null pointer to prevent that. Yeah, all right, so let's let's see if we can just like do foreground actors that add and just add a null pointer in here for both foreground and background. And what we should be able to do is like comment out this whole tagging thing and just it shouldn't draw anything for the foreground and the background. We want to make sure that that's true just so there's like you know it's we're setting it into the mode of only draw what we want you to draw and don't just try to be smart and so if we didn't have any foreground objects to render then it would just like render the whole damn scene which is obviously not what our camera. All 
Alright, so we can put a null pointer in there. And there's our ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to comment out this whole block here. So we're going to be adding none actors. And what should happen is nothing should drop. Uh, we should just have the rail that our character is standing on in orthographic mode and nothing else. Just a big black nothingness. That is obviously not what has happened here. Looks like we're rendering everything. Well, we're not rendering the, the background. But I think we set our far clip, didn't we? So. That is wrong. So, okay. If we add nothing, then it just doesn't freaking work. Um, so we're going to have to do... I think this is in Scene Capture Component. I wrote it down yesterday. Scene Capture Rendering CPP. Let's see, this is the uh, Show Only Actors. This is kind of the thing, is we want this show only primitives to... I mean, we could just like make a dummy primitive or something else. But I'd rather not, so it's, it's the view. What is the view? View is the F scene view. So let's go to scene view, that CPP, and let's see if we can find what we're looking for. We're looking for this show only primitives. And it's just not even used. Okay. Well, let's see where it's used in the entire frickin' solution. Because we just wanna we just wanna tell this thing only view only render what I tell you to render. And this is what I didn't want. This is exactly what I didn't want. 